Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarm right here and we're back with another episode of Land of the Vikings. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. In this episode, we're going to continue to work on our little town here. We have a couple meat pops running around. So what I did in between episodes, I did just a little bit of things. I put down our couple of three fields here and uh, I also did one more back over in here in our regular field area. I put this one in. Uh, I have three of those guys getting wheat and one of them is getting barley to continue to make uh, beer. We have a couple of people who just joined the town. You can see that there's a couple of homeless things running around, uh, but we are continuously making some good homes over in here, so those should be completed very shortly. Uh, we're still working on our shipyard down over in here. Uh, we needed another shipyard just because this one is kind of slow just by itself, so I wanted to get another one. Uh, the Nar is a ship that we got in the last episode, but I don't think we built any yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw one of these guys in the queue. Um, but I'm not sure about fabric. Do we have fabric? We have 18 fabric, so that'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and we will construct that. We do need some more planks, but I did just mark a bunch of stuff for gathering for wood. So we'll get that going in. It looks like this ship needs to be repaired. That's not good. Yeah, so we got a couple ships over in here. Uh, this thing is set to auto repair. But, uh, it seems kind of wonky. Uh, that's another reason why I wanted another shipyard, is because we need to have a designated spot to repair things all the time. And, uh, that's gonna be this guy. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we have this nice little area over in here. And, uh, we're kind of continuing to work our way in this area for some more housing stuff. I think that's what we'll continue to do. Uh, and we kind of got a little bit of farm stuff here. And, uh, yeah. And I'm gonna continue to do, uh, some more fields over in here. Uh, and the next thing we're gonna do is go visit our tree of life we have lots and lots of points so yeah in the as i said before the last episode we got making of anar so we're able to do that and now i would like to go ahead and go over to raid the warship drakkar can be built so let's go ahead and we'll throw that down and that's gonna leave us with three more points so let's see if we can grab any of these little things around drakkar speed is increased by five warrior's training speed is increased by five percent uh, and then what do we got over in here? We have trade ships are a little bit faster, products sell at higher prices, and sailors want less beer. Uh, I'm gonna go for the less beer one, so I want to uh, go ahead and do that. We have five beer right now, so I'll do that uh, technology and we'll see how that goes as far as our sailors go. So let's go back over to sea, and then we're gonna need a war dock. And, uh, hmm, looks like we're gonna run into a little bit of issue. We might need to do a little bit more reorganizing because it looks like the only other spot there isn't another spot oh we can place it over in here this will this will be great this will work for us quite nicely so we'll put this guy over in here and then of course we're gonna need to get a road over in this area as well all right we got a road down and war dock is getting completed just need some stone and some wood not that big of a deal so that'll be an interesting thing to check out uh, we may need to put in a couple more carpenters to keep up with our continued ship demand we only have the four timber right now so let's go ahead and do that. We got the workers to do it, so we should probably... We'll grab our carpenter, and uh, let's see if we can find a good spot for this buddy. So I think we'll just go uh, over in this little area for our new carpenter and put that guy down. And we'll get that built up, working. So yeah, we have... Uh, I'm trying to keep about 100 builders. It still doesn't seem to be enough, so let's go ahead. We'll go 110 for a while. Our labor is 166. I'm trying to make sure that we have most of these maxed up. Uh, the one that seems kind of weird is farmers. I feel like I can go like indefinitely with farmers. So having that many isn't really helpful. So we're going to go like that, max everything out except for our farmers. And then it looks like we still have a couple of houses. So let's see where we're at with these good houses. Um, can we prioritize? Yeah, we'll prioritize that one. Get that built up. That'll deal with a couple of people who are homeless. Over here, it looks like our warehouses are, are uh, pretty full. And they're full of iron, which isn't... That, that, that's great. We have a good chunk of that. Uh, so with the iron stuff, and we should have some coal, right? Let's see. Yeah, we have 34 coal. Uh, let's go ahead and let's revisit this. The training camp. So let's see. Train troops. Let's see what we can do here. So we need the light armor and the shield. I don't know if we have any light armor. Oh, apparently we do. We have 18 light armor and uh, we have eight weapon parts. So we could make two archers. Do we have any shields and uh, a handful of light infantry? So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go for... Uh, these guys need to be fast. So we're going to go two for fast people. One, and then let's go two. All right, and then let's go for light infantry. I was hoping that would save it. All right, so these two archers. Then let's go ahead and hit train, and we'll get a couple archers. 
Uh, so in two days, hmm, we'll have to revisit this quickly. Uh, oh, up here. So at day 11, we'll go we'll back and revisit that. Oh, another thing that I did, now that we can see that it's nighttime a little bit, uh, I did put a bunch more of the, the lampposts around town because I was looking at our average happiness and it was saying it was still too dark. Uh, so we have relative died and hungry. That's the biggest issue on our negative side for our happiness. Uh, but we have a couple of good positives. House of the road, fun at the tavern, and have good clothing. So the hunger issue, I feel like, is going to uh, be continuous uh, as long as we keep accepting people. Uh, I do also want to put in another fishing dock uh, and to get that going as well here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Is this thing completed yet? But our builders are very, very slow. So one thing that uh, I would like to see a change in in this game is uh, the building a little bit better. Maybe I have things not laid out as efficiently or something, but with 110 builders, I feel like these like these houses should have been up by now. It's been plenty of time. So that's what my one little gripe here so far from this game is that the amount of builders needed seems to be a little excessive. I'm going to go ahead and we'll bump that to 120 and we'll see where that lands us. Okay, so we need to wait a little bit longer for the building. So we want to get the war dock here. It looks like it has a good start. Needs a little bit more timber. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of things that are looking for some timber. And uh, I think I'm going to keep working on that and I'll bring it back in just a little bit. All right, so it looks like our archers are done. Uh, there isn't anything over in here in our training window. But if we go over here to villagers and then select the shield option, we get warriors. So you can see we have a light infantry and we have the two archers that we just trained. So that's kind of neat. I'm not really sure yet what all we can do with those guys, but uh, at least it's showing us that we have them. So let's go ahead and we'll throw in a couple more people to do some training. Uh, we have eight shields and plenty of light armor. So let's go ahead and get up to eight light infantry, I guess. All right, that's eight villagers ready to be trained. Let's go ahead and do that. So two more days and those guys are going to be trained up as well. And that's going to be contributing towards our defense points. This says the defense points of the village. It can be increased by training new warriors or installing defense decorations. Warriors on missions are not included in defense. So I'm not sure what all that's talking about, but maybe we'll get there eventually when we can start doing some raiding. Uh, let's go ahead. Our herbalist hut, we need to auto assign. Uh, I did continue to place a few more farms up over in here. I was in the midst of doing so, and then the trees got in my way. So I need to do mark these trees out of here so that we can clear that space again. Uh, so that we can continue to expand in that direction. So we need a little bit more workers on the shipyard, and uh, then we can start to repair some of these. You can see we got another exclamation point over another one of our fishing ships. Hey, and there it is. Okay, so we'll auto assign all of our workers, and then, yeah, we need to select the worst one. Looks like the top one is the worst one so far. All right, yeah, we'll get you queued up, and we'll get that repaired. So that's going to take even more planks. Okay, so we should have, yep, this carpenter is good to go. Let's go ahead and auto assign and open it up. And then a brewery, auto assign, it's already open. So we were having a little bit of an issue with some firewood. And it looks like that has been more or less resolved. Uh, but we're going to be continuously expanding. So I think let's go ahead and we'll put in another woodshed. Let's go ahead and we'll pop that guy down right there. And then we'll get another one of these woodsheds going on. And that'll be a good thing. Uh, what do we got? What's the deal over in here? Building storage is full. Overloaded. Oh, there's nobody coming to pick that stuff up. It looks like probably because we need more mar uh, warehouse people. So we'll assign a couple people to that. What have we got for uh, market here? Eight. Okay. Yeah. So let's go for uh, a couple more storage things. Let's go for another warehouse. It looks like that has been resolved over here. So we'll put one down there. And it, there was a couple of spots over on this side we were just talking about that uh, had two full warehouses. So let's go ahead and we'll put in another warehouse. And until we can start exporting goods, which until I figure out how to do that, I think we'll just store some stuff up and then we can do some exporting up some things. Okay, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fill this rest of this air little area in with some more farm action. And uh, then I'm going to watch for that new shipyard to be built up. And then I'll bring it back again, and hopefully we can check out something new. Oh, so I just got this message. The messenger brought news. There is news from neighboring villages. Recently, their merchant ships saw ships full of warriors who aim to come to our village. Their intentions are unknown, but we need to be ready. Oh, boy. So, 
We have been training a few workers around here to be warriors, uh, but we don't really have a whole lot of materials for all sorts of things here. Uh, we do have a couple more shields, it looks like. So let's add a couple more of these warriors to our um, our list of warriors, I guess. Uh, we were able to do five more, so let's go ahead and we will assign five more people to be uh, our warriors here. Uh, let's get those guys trained up. It's going to take about two days, it looks like. Uh, not that big of a deal. And then down over on the coastline. We're looking pretty great over in here. So our two shipyards working together has uh, made quick work of creating and repairing ships. It's quite nice. Uh, I'm glad that we did too. So now coming back over here. Oops, well, I'm going to have to refresh that real quick. Coming back over in here, we have our war dock all set up. Good to go. Uh, we have a couple ports here, it looks like. Um, let's go ahead and we will assign our Drakkar to this. There it is. Okay, and now if we hit send mission, we have no current ships out. We have exploration and then we have raid. Since we had a warning for, you know, possible raid heading, hitting our town, I'm going to not do the raid. But I do want to go exploring. So let's see what we need here. Uh, we have the number of days that people are going to be gone, and I would imagine the required resources is longer. Um, let's go ahead and add our ship. So it looks like we need a, quite a few people to be our crew, and then we need to select foods. Okay, so let's auto-select the crew, and then we need to provide enough food or if you don't want the crew to starve. Okay, so we need uh, 30 meals, so we should be able to do that okay. I think I'm just trying to see what we got going on over here on the left for our resources uh, as far as assigning foods that we actually have. Uh, we need 30. Oh, we have plenty of fruits. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. And that should be enough. I'm going to throw a, a little bit more in there just in case. Okay, so let's do a three day exploration mission. Actually, by justice, what happens? Okay, it does increase. That's exactly what I thought. That makes sense. Uh, okay, so here's food and then here's the beer that they needed. And only a certain number of missions are possible, so we don't have any active. So we have two cap, and then cost of 50 silver, three days. Let's go ahead and we'll do an exploration. So yeah, 10 people out, it looks like. Go ahead and get that going. So cool, the Drakkar is going to load up. And they are going to get those sailors out and about, and that'll be really cool to see what we get for doing that. Uh, and then let's, we have a quite a few amount of points. Uh, oh, let's see this. Let's go auto sign that quickly. Oh, there's lots of extra animals here. So let's go ahead and we'll do 12 on that one. Uh, check the coop. We'll go 12 on this one. Oh, 14. Sure. Okay. Got that food going on. Man, I'm seeing all these little things around town that need to be fixed up. Okay, so let's see what we got for the tree of life. We have eight points. So if we were going to go further uh, top, I guess, on the tree, uh, we need 12 for automatic worker replace feature, which is that's that's very powerful. Uh, and then over in here, we have our two raid. We looked at these briefly already. So let's let's go back over in here. Since we're going to start doing some trading, uh, let's go for quicker ships. And let's say products sell at higher prices. What is this? Ship customization. Trade ships customization feature unlocked. Okay, for 10 points, that'll be an interesting thing. Uh, foreign merchant ships visit more often. Yeah, let's grab that. That doesn't sound too bad and increases the amount of stock trade ships and carry by 10%. So pretty good. And it looks like that that's the end of the branches on the trade side. So I'm wondering, I don't know, this definitely isn't symmetrical. So if we look over here for the more warrior oriented side, we have quite a few large nodes. So we have much more to explore over there. Uh, so let's finish out this branch, I guess. We have 10 more points we're going to need, and then uh, we will maybe start working our way this way a little bit more. This 12 is just, that's a lot. <laughs> I would like to check out the rest of these branches over in here as well. So that's kind of my plan. We got that uh, going. We're a pretty good amount of um, bonuses right there. Pretty good. Okay, so what else we got going on here? Winter is coming. We got one day. It's already snowing, so that's not that big of a surprise. And uh, we got that going on for repairs. This one's already constructing. Great. So that stuff is coming along. We did have a couple more homeless people. There's one right there. So I did put in a few more good homes. Kind of working our way back over into this uh, village area. Uh, I've put in this pathway around here. So I'm, I'm going to kind of sneak houses in here as they fit. And then I think it will, like I mentioned at the beginning, we'll work in this little area next. I have a couple good houses over in here. 
and then here's our carpenter it's up and running now looking great uh, so that's all working fantastically and it's it's really like the food problem that we have and a couple homeless I guess uh, that's our biggest issue so our big field over in here that we just added in I threw in a couple more windmills because I was looking over in here we have tons of grain so we need to make that grain into food so windmills are gonna be the thing that's gonna do that for us so I put in two more and a little warehouse up over in there and then I did add in another warehouse uh, down by the water because these guys are using tons and tons of wood um, but I, what I wanted to do is limit the resources I only wanted to take in planks but it looks like that's not even an option so eh, this is kind of a waste but at least it's there we'll probably utilize it a little bit now what I didn't do is check to see what day it was when we sent this ship out let's see if we go back to uh, oh 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 okay um there are dozens of ships and warriors coming to attack our village unless we give them what they want they will fight what do we do okay so give what they want and they want let's see give the silver food and items they want to the attackers but do not forget the shame will be with you villagers would be very unhappy huge amount of fame lost many foods and items are lost okay uh prepare your all defense and fight warriors and villagers take up arms prepare to defend the village and wait for the enemy to fight success with an 89 percent chance hey that's pretty good fail 12 percent some buildings can be damaged and villagers can die uh and then the two options we don't have for whatever reason all the warriors prepare to defend the village and the village all the warriors prepare to defend the village and the villagers leave the village uh we can't do any of those so we have the success the success and fail rates and then some buildings can be damaged and destroyed and then the counter attack warriors attack without warning for the enemy to come to the village success is 50 and pretty much 50 50. so let's go for prepare your all defense and fight <laughs> interesting little clip there all right so we have won our warriors have successfully defended the village some buildings were damaged. Our valiant warriors to Valhalla, 41. Um, it looks like... I'm not sure if we got this stuff or if we lost this stuff. Huge amount of fame is earned and villagers will be happy. Let's see, so we're at 9261. Uh, it didn't jump up. So, okay. Well, we do know now that there are indeed raids against your town. Not in the same way that... Um, We've seen previously in games. What is it? Oh, all the houses are collapsing all at once. Okay. Uh, not in the same exact way as we've seen before, where it's more of the RTS style. Uh, just kind of more of a simulation thing here. Okay, so yeah, let's um. Heck, we may as well destroy these houses because we uh, we want some good houses in up over in here, and these are just poor ones. Uh, so let's speed up time here. Get the poor house out of there, and then we will replace with a good house and get that guy about right there and then we'll have one more that we should be able to work into this space looks like that is the case good good okay we'll get that guy out of there and it looks like we have a merchant so all sorts of things all of a sudden all right there we go got that good house in there it looks like we got one more that's burning yeah so we'll let the houses do their thing i guess oh we lost a brewery prepare that repair that okay couple little things to fix up after the battle there but we won so that's that's, that's fun uh, let's see let's see what we got going on here so with those villagers dying i'm wondering okay we lost a lot of builders okay that's all right we can repair that real quick uh let's get that back up to 110 should be fine let's see what else we need a couple more warehouse workers market here lost looks like we lost a couple people here and there but that's okay kind of figured that would happen armors go 25 and then gathers back up to 12 okay cool and then this thing, which we were going to look at a second ago, uh, if we hit send mission there, ships on the mission, uh, one day to return. So we'll see them very, very soon. So, but we should, we should, okay, so we don't have another crew yet. So we needed the Drakkar. Okay, so let's see. Oh, uh, merchants? Loom? Uh, I think I missed the one merchant. I wonder what that, oh, I wonder if we're seeing things from where, from our exploration. That could be it. Okay, so let's come back over in here and let's get another one of these, uh, these NARS, uh, wait, 
That's a Drakkar, doesn't it? I swear it did. <laughs> Anyways, let's get another one of these uh, Nars queued up here. I think that's what we have over here as well. Nope, that should be good. Okay. We'll do another Drakkar as well. Let's get that going as well. Okay, so now I think... I think we should have another ship. I wonder... I thought I had two big ships. Uh, okay, we got newcomers. Let's go and accept those guys to join our town. Um, and now... I know I wanted to replace those with good, uh, good buildings, but because of the number of people that we were just having joined the village there, uh, we may need to build a couple more poor houses, uh, because I'm still seeing lots and lots of homeless, yeah. So let's go ahead and slow this down a little bit, and uh, I'm not really excited about building more poor houses, but I mean, I gotta get the people into uh, some shelter here. So I think we'll do, where should we do this? I don't really want to do it on the spot that I was thinking of because I want that for something else. But I think what we could do, since we can't really... Well, I guess we could probably scoot a couple of more farms over in here. But for now, I think we'll just do a couple uh, poor houses. And, you know, we do need another marketplace probably after we put these guys in here. So that'll be something to grab as well. All right, we got that little uh, area good to go here. And it looks like our crews have returned. Let's see if we uh, can see what kind of spoils we get here. Uh, so send mission. We have no active ships. Uh, huh. Well, I don't really know what the point of that was <laughs> because I didn't see what happened. Uh, but anyways, it looks like we have our defense back up to 16. It had dropped to like, well, wow, there's a lot of homeless up here. Uh, like one when we um, got got raided there for a second so kind of weird i guess uh so it looks like we can train a couple more warriors let's go ahead and do that prepared be prepared for another attack looks like we can do about three archers and these guys are going to be not lucky so we'll go like that yeah these guys are kind of old <laughs> let's go for uh go for a, a younger person i guess we need three of them yeah we've got, we're uh, we're getting there to some older folks around here so not quite enough weapon parts, apparently. I thought it was only... Oh, I have four people in here. Okay. There's our three. We'll get that queued up. Great. Okay. And uh, yeah, it, we uh, obviously have a huge uh, housing problem, uh, which hopefully is remedied slightly by those good... Those poor houses that we put in. We have plenty of builders. Get those things built up. It looks like ah, wood's going to be our problem. So... I think that's going to be it for this episode of Land of the Vikings. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a fantastic, amazing rest of your evening, day or night, and I'll talk to you again soon.